Okay, this is the first uh, really uh, outing that I've had in the Challenger K1 inflatable kayak and I have to say it's a neat boat. In fact, it tracks pretty good too uh, for the uh, skeg that's uh, on the bottom of this. But it's just still a beautiful fall day here high atop Lookout Mountain near Mentone at DeSoto Falls. Okay, we're just uh, breaking for lunch here and uh, still highly recommend the Challenger K1 uh, kayak, inflatable. Uh, but Mr. G has two complaints. They don't bother me because I have a good bike, a uh, good bike, good back. Go ahead there, Mr. G. Well, I have a bad back anyway, but the back doesn't provide enough support. And the other complaint I have is that my toes get crushed up in the bow. It's, there's not enough height uh, uh, under the bow, and my, so my toes are always being bent over. Uh, I tried stuffing my heels off in the corners and going pigeon-toed, and that worked for a while, but that got uncomfortable on my legs. So those are my two complaints. None so what what were they again? But Your two complaints? That's I said that I was about to say that. So my two complaints, in summary, are... Uh, not enough uh, support in the back and not enough room for your feet. So on a scale of 1 to 10, what do you give it? I still give it a, I give it a 6. You're kidding. Seven, 6 or 7. <laughs> but it is, it's like the only solution if you drive a sedan. Uh, I don't want to have a roof rack or any of that. Cause you just carry it all folded up and then when you get down on the river, deflate it, un uh, fold it back up, throw it in the trunk. Right well, I don't have a bad back, so I'll still give this out of 10. I'll give it 8.5. Really, I mean, you know, what do you expect for a kayak inflatable for $70? So, yeah, I'll, I'll give it an 8.5. I'll give it a 10 on pricing. Sure, I would too. Yeah, 10 plus on pricing. Thank you.